Hello everyone, in this video we'll see how to create a new login for the SQL Server and provide the permission create databases itself. So let's start, shall we? Just open the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and you'll see your login screen as it and click on connect and you'll be connected to your SQL Server. Now, creating a new login for yourself. Uh, just go to the server, uh, sorry, just go to the security. You will see logins over here. Just click on new login and name the login let's say i'm naming it as admin uh, admin okay i'll go for sql server authentication go admin at the one two three again admin at the rate one two three okay i'll click on okay now i'll try to connect it through admin i'm going for sql server authentication clicking on admin admin at the one two three i'll ask it to remember for the first time it will ask me to create a new password so i'll just create a new password over here and we are done for now this admin does not have any permission for create database if i click over here and click on ok see it says it doesn't have any permission how to provide the permission go back to our main user now in the logins go to the properties for admin okay now in the serve in the yeah securables in the securables itself just see anywhere alter any database uh, connect to the sql connect to the sql click on connect to sql it's already there so uh, no need to click any of it uh, create any database so creating the database and view any database so you need to view that has been already created just click on ok uh, refresh the uh, admin one now try and create the database test db and now you can see the database created through admin now if I want to create the table, I can create the table, let's say create table, table name like test table, test table, it's a column, column equals to test column, where care, where care 10. And if I run it, so we can do F5 for quick execute. Now if I refresh it again, this database you can see the table over here as test table if i go for select the column name test column is there i guess i re i spelled column incorrectly anyways it's there 